<laughs> Five pounds. Snake River Cuddy. Hello everyone, welcome back for another great episode. I'm Jimmy and this is my channel, Jimmy in the Wild. Before we get started, please hit the subscribe button so you can find your way back to the channel for more future content. And hit the thumbs up button if you find that you like the video. Today's video is the second video that I filmed while my son Jesse Lee was here. We headed out to a local lake to try our luck fishing from the Mokai Jet Kayaks. We also joined up with my friend who brought his high performance supercharged jet ski. The jet kayaks are pretty slow, especially with all the gear we lug around. But my friend's jet ski is really fast and quite the watercraft. For fishing, we started out using bottom bouncing rigs and crawler harnesses in about 15 to 20 feet of water. But after about an hour, we just didn't have the patience to continue in the very warm weather that we were having. So we packed up the bottom bouncing gear and headed toward the canyon where the water flows into the lake. It's cooler back in Fremont Canyon and we were more likely to catch a fish. But on the way there, my friend offered to let my son use his jet ski. He gave Jesse the rundown on how to operate the jet ski. He even stressed some of the safety measures that need to be taken seriously. Then Jesse was headed off around the lake in sport mode. Sport mode enables the jet ski to turn into a super high performance machine. Jesse had a GoPro on for a small portion of his jet ski fun and we captured some of his experience. I'm gonna upload the rest of Jesse's jet ski footage in a different video so he can see all of his own jet ski shenanigans. I was glad that he didn't get too crazy and didn't hurt himself or the jet ski. The jet ski is very important to my friend and my son Jesse is very important to me. For the next hour or so, Jesse had so much fun on that jet ski, he finally used most of the fuel. And we eventually met up with Jesse at the mouth of the canyon. Since the jet ski was pretty much out of fuel, my friend headed back to the ramp and then back to town. The fuel at the Lake Marina just wasn't high enough octane. And my friend also makes sure he uses non-ethanol fuel in the jet ski to prevent fuel system and injector issues. This is a very smart move. Once my friend headed back to the ramp, Jesse and I headed to the far upper end of the canyon in the lake where the Platte River enters. This is one of my favorite places to fish this time of year. That's because a huge number of rainbow and cutthroat trout head back there to spawn. Also, the portion of the river that enters the lake back here is barely flowing, which means we can access some of the rocks. The little jet kayaks allow us to land on the rocks and access some of the amazing fish-filled pools that you can find back here. Here's a very important word of caution. You never know when the Bureau of Reclamation will increase the flows in this section of the river. Right now it's flowing at about 150 cubic feet per second at the moat. But when they increase the flows from Pathfinder Lake, which is just upstream of our location, the flows can go up by a couple thousand cubic feet per second very quickly. If you get caught back here when the water does go up and you're too far from your boat, you could end up getting injured or killed. This awesome place to fish is pretty sketchy just because of this. So if you don't know what you're doing, stay in your boat and fish from your boat. Also, the granite rocks up here are polished to a very smooth finish. They can be super slippery even if they are dry and free of dust and debris. The shoes Jesse and I are using are NRS kayak shoes and they grip the rocks better than any other shoe I've used back here. But I still use my hands to help me move around from rock to rock when I need to. Finally, it's time to catch some fish. Keep your eyes on the water. You might just see some of the fish. There are so many fish back here, it's almost unbelievable. We got one Panther Martin. You want to use the Panther? It's amazing back here. Oh yeah, I almost caught him. Do that again. Get a better angle. Oh, I got one. Nice, look at this guy. Look at this rainbow, dude. It's big. Right on that bead head. Oh, he's pretty. That's a female. She's fat with eggs. Yeah, she's right at 19. She is. There's a ton of rainbows right there, and there's probably 30 suckers. Oh, geez. I almost got another big one.
Look at this, Jess. Look how fat this thing is. <laughs> you should see how many trout are right here. There's like a thousand of them right here. Trout, not suckers, trout. It's literally a hatchery. Oh, gee, oh! <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> hold on, oh hold on, hold on. Here, hold on. There's a GoPro. Oh, oh, look at that guy. He's Holy he's 18. All right. Good that. fishy. Good fishy. Oh yeah, there we go. Look at this, Jess. I think it's a, I think he's just like yours. He's a head shaker though. That is a beautiful fish. Look how pretty he is. Oh my gosh. That is a pretty fish. Here we go, Jess. Here he is. Whoa. Little bead head. Cast right in there. Look at look at all these fish. Just dip it in there. Dip it in there. I don't even have to do anything. Oh, there you go. He's almost on it. No. <laughs> Hold on. Holy crap! Look at that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Holy, he's flailing. Here, hold on. Look at him flailing. Oh, that's a salmon. <laughs> even a freaking Stay here, I'm gonna go down and around. Five pounds. He's 21 inches. And fat. 21 inch, that is a monster. <laughs> there we go. Not as big as yours. He's fat though. It's a she fish. She's a fatty. She's filled with eggs. No, 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 careful. Here, I'll just bring her right up here and I'll grab her. Look how fat she is. Big fish. That that one. Oh, yeah, she's like red at 18, 19. <laughs> belly, belly. There she goes. She's a nice fish. Looks like a cutty or a brown. Is it a cutty? No, it may be a snake river. Snake river cut through. We'll see, I can't tell. Yep, it's a snake river cut through. That is one heck of a beautiful fish, man. 
Look at that guy. Snake River Cuddy. What's that? Yeah. It's a beautiful, beautiful fish. There he goes. Got his spawning colors going, man. I'll tail him for you. Here, hold on. Let me get him. Here, I'll get him. Woo. You don't want, you don't want me getting him. Just trying to get him up. That is beautiful. You ever up to three? Yeah, skinny male. Pretty easy in this current because you just have to drop the fly in the current with a bullet. Yep. And you'll just see it fill through the water. Yep. There he is. Oh, he is pretty. Did you want to hold him? Careful. Oh, yeah. We only fished for about an hour, but we caught eight very nice fish. And I'm glad he caught some large fish on his trip to Wyoming. It made the time we spent together an experience to remember. Also, fishing with this young man is so much fun. Just seeing his reaction to getting a huge fish in the line is truly priceless. I've got another video in the works where I come back here and fish a little further up in the rocks. The fishing a little further up this stretch of river was even more incredible. Wait till you see it. Well, that's it for today's video. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And be sure to subscribe so you can find our way back to this channel for more unbelievable upcoming content. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again real soon.